Ready? Oh, there. What noise do they make you? <laughs> Somebody's hat? Did you lose your hat? Did you lose your hat? So I think I lied. I think we're down a little further yet here. Maybe it's down there yet. Are you recording? Yes. Turn it off. Why? We're almost there. We have reached our destination, Site 501. Yay! Somebody does. Row, row, row your boat and stay down the stream. Throw your daughter overboard oh. and listen to her scream. How the natives did it. What is the natives? The natives. This is how they started fire with fire sticks and a. I did and, <laughs> and, oh, and a fire torch. That's how they did it back in the old days. Good night. <laughs> Today we are at Wildwood Conservation Area by St. Mary's, Ontario. I stopped in here last year, I think around October 3rd or so. Checked out this site. This is Site 501. It's uh, one of the backcountry sites uh, they have located here in the conservation area, which is nice. You can paddle into it, you can even hike to it. There's a hiking trail right here too that you can get to. Very nice. Um, so I checked out last year, stopped in just to see what it was like. That was pretty, pretty nice. So came back this year, thought I might do a solo trip, but my daughter wanted to come. So she's here with me today. And uh, we're just spending an overnight, uh, one overnight stay here and just to check it out and see what it's like. She's never been backcountry camping before. so. This is kind of getting her into it a little bit, just easing her into it. My kids were always kind of reluctant, I think, to try it. And I was kind of reluctant as a parent to get them into it because I don't know what it's going to be like after an hour of paddling or two hours or three hours of paddling. So I kind of in my head know that it's not going to be fun for them after that. This is a great way of easing them into it. Um, just checking out what it's like. It's only a small paddle down the lake here. Uh, enjoying the sights and uh, I think once you get used to it then you go on the bigger things so we just had supper and we're gonna head on out hike some of these trails so are you ready <laughs> I think she is what are you talking to yourself <laughs>
sausages on a bun, went for a little hike, came back, had some beans, because you can't have a camp out without beans, can you? So this here is part of the trail that uh, runs along the, uh, I guess we're on the south shore of uh, Wildwood Lake. And uh, this trail goes along behind uh, some of the uh, backcountry campsites here. So you can actually hike or bike to your campsite. So it's a bit different. Um, it's a bit different to have a trail running right behind your campsite where you're camping at. Um, but seen a few bikers tonight and uh, mountain bikers, of course, and uh, been all friendly, said hello and have a great night and stuff like that. So everybody's been pretty friendly here. Very respectful too of your uh, privacy. Like I was saying before, this is a good test before you go out to the real backcountry. This is a good test for those that have never done this before. Especially kids. You don't know how they're going to be, how they're going to feel when they're out there. I know some people have taken their toddlers and even babies uh, backcountry camping. And uh, it wasn't something I'd ever wanted to do, and I never did. <laughs> I have a reluctance on my part, <laughs> and I'm sure my kids are, have some apprehension on their part, too, about doing it. So far, Madison seems to love this, and uh, we'll probably give it a shot again, and maybe do it a couple nights, and uh, we'll go from there. But uh, so far... It's turning into a real nice night, real nice one-nighter camping trip, so I recommend doing this. You got kids? If you've never done this before, give it a shot. I think you'll enjoy it. It's around 8 o'clock right now, the sun's setting in another hour, and uh, I might go out and have a little, just a little paddle. The water's calming down a bit. It's been windy here this afternoon. We had a some rain earlier. Um, the rain ended before we started paddling, which was great. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? I think so. Alright, here we go. Goodbye, 501. You're gonna miss your porta potty? Uh -huh. 
Okay, Mr. Porter Potty, it's right there. Goodbye, Porter Potty. I would not miss that. You're stinky.